morning, YouTube. It is, let's see, today's Tuesday after Christmas. And I am making a quick video because I'm going to go and have a Dominican blowout today. At least that's the goal. I'm hoping that the shop is open. I've never had one before. So I wanted to just track my... Um, track my feelings about the whole the whole process and so what I did last night to my hair I just went on ahead and detangled it because I, I did a wash and go yesterday so I detangled it twisted it and just put it up I tried to comb through it as much as possible hoping that that will help it probably won't because once they put shampoo and start washing it it's probably gonna just tangle back up but anyway I'm just um, I've watched many 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 videos about the Dominican blowout and I'm a little nervous about the detangling process because I don't want anybody pulling my hair out and I am <clears throat> a little nervous about the heat all that heat that comes from the blow dryers I'm not so much worried about the actual uh, sitting under the dryer but I am worried about the uh, the excessive heat from the blow dryer but and I'm gonna go ahead and have it done because I really number one I need to have my ends clipped because my ends, I, I did my a blowout recently on my own and even though my hair was huge, it was big, it wasn't anything where I could like walk out of the house with it, but um, I just did it to do a, a length check and I added that picture in my last video for um, Jeannie Locks aka Yarn Brace 2011 takedown. So I have those um, pictures of what my hair looked blown out and semi straightened. <clears throat> But anyway, so I'm trying to get out of the house. My face is broken out. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if that's because of the food that I've been eating. Um, I'm also on a weight loss journey right now. So you can check out some of my videos for my weight loss journey. I have picked up a couple of pounds over the um, over the holiday. Not too bad. But I am this week I'm going to get back on track with my food. And um, no more meat. Because I've been eating you know, turkey and ham and just really enjoying myself and um, I'm ready to get back on track with that too yay so excuse the nightgown it's a little raggedy but um anyway that's it so hopefully when when I come back today I will have long and luscious straight hair and I hope I love it I hope my hair doesn't stink that's another thing I'm worried about because heat causes the hair to have a smell to it not so much a burn smell but just a smell of like curling iron and I hate that smell I love uh, freshly shampooed and conditioned hair I love that hair smell that smells like flowers and goodies so <clears throat> we shall see I'm hoping for the best but really to me it's kind of about the um, getting the cut getting the trim get my ends clipped because I really haven't had my ends clipped in forever and I think I'm going to try to continue to keep my ends clipped at least to go somewhere to get them clipped and that'll probably make my hair grow longer because my hair is probably to about maybe right here right now I did a really bad cut last summer I was trying to trim my ends and my hair was extremely long and I cut my hair like up to here it was really really short and um I don't know, I might add a picture of how short it was. And it took forever for it to grow. So finally now it's kind of like about to right here. But I really want long, long, long hair. I used to have really long hair when I was little. I'll add a picture of that too. And uh, my hair was down my back, so I'm trying to get there. But um, anyway, I have my hair pulled up in a clip. It's not, it's kind of like a, um, what do you call these things? Kind of like a rounded oval banana clip. And But I have it turned the long way <clears throat> so that I can have my hair up in a, in a puff. So that's it. Like I said, when I come back, hopefully I will have long, luscious, straight hair. And I'll tell you how it was. Alright, well, I got my Dominican blowout today, and I will say that I am very, very, very satisfied with it. However, um, it rained today. It was like pouring down, raining, and 
I didn't have an umbrella. My hair didn't get wet, but I guess just the humidity um, caused the hair to kind of frizz up a little bit at the ends. And so now I am trying to, I haven't flat ironed my hair in ages, so I don't, it's like I can't, I'm trying not to get that box look at the end, but I haven't done this in forever. Um, but anyway, okay, it came out pretty good. My hair is shiny and she clipped my ends. And it looks it's bouncy and it looks healthy and I really I really like it she did a great job I'll tell you my experience I went in um, 9 o'clock this morning and she conditioned my hair I couldn't tell if she was washing or conditioning she said she was doing some conditioning because it seemed like she did whatever she did she did it like four times and she detangled my hair and she did it so gently because that's one thing that I said earlier that I was worried about was um whoever does my hair I was nervous that they were gonna detangle it and it was going to hurt but she did it very gently and in my locks video where I took my my hair out and I had a knot in my hair this was the hair that I cut if you saw that video so <laughs> that's just hanging but anyway she detangled my hair and um, it didn't hurt and she put my hair up on rollers me under the dryer for over an hour and then she took all the rollers out and my hair looked pretty it looked good just like that and then um, she went through with the roller brush two kinds of roller brushes she used the a smaller one and then she went in with the metal roller brush and um, blew it out she did use a heat protector I don't know what I'm doing she did use a heat protector on my hair <clears throat> and I like that and she put some type of a serum to my scalp um, I did have some damage from the genie locks because she said that it was some areas that um, looked like my hair was damaged so she put this extra like protein um, serum to my scalp to help with that and um, she clipped my ends because my ends looked terrible I mean she was literally combing my hair and when she got down here it was just pop 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 and um, she said that those were those dead ends that had to come off and she recommends that I come in at least every three months to get my ends clipped okay so this is my final final results of my attempt to flat iron the hair and it looks pretty I like it this is the back It's really bouncy as you can see and um, so now I'm gonna attempt I'm going to <clears throat> attempt to wrap this and we'll see what happens but um yeah so like I was saying she told me I need to come in every three months get my ends clipped she told me that a lot of people come in every about every three weeks to get the blowout done and it's not gonna damage the hair but I probably won't do that I am gonna keep up with my um get my ends clipped because I really want my hair to grow because she said my ends looked terrible um, and that's probably because I never cut my hair but I did cut my hair um, this summer and I cut a lot of hair off and um, that's it but as far as do I like Dominican blowouts my review is I give it two thumbs up and um, it's still because my hair it's like my hair is thick but thin it's weird so um temperatures are gonna affect this so i'm a little worried about tomorrow i'm hoping it's not gonna rain because it's like once i'm at work i'm not gonna have access to a flat iron to touch up the hair so i'm just hoping that um that it will stay i don't want to add a whole bunch of hairspray to my hair because I, I just don't like that and as far as the smell it does smell like curling iron a little bit but it's not, it's not too bad anyway gotta go bye he walked around doing every little thing he thought a Virgo does.